A doctor or clinician at Aspitar may ask you to perform a spirometry test if they suspect a respiratory disease or breathing abnormality. Spirometry is also performed before a cardiopulmonary exercise test to compare the ventilation at rest with the ventilation during exercise. There are many kinds of spirometry tests, but the most common type is the forced vital capacity. The forced vital capacity test measures the maximum amount of air you can forcibly exhale from your lungs after fully inhaling. Another important measurement in the forced vital capacity test is the maximum volume of air that a person can exhale in the first second or forced expiratory volume. To measure the forced expiratory volume accurately, it's important that you forcibly exhale as fast as you can. These measurements can be used to indicate the presence of airway restrictions and obstructions caused by asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and other abnormalities in the lungs. To perform the forced vital capacity, you will wear a nose clip and insert a mouthpiece connected to a metabolic cart into your mouth. The mouthpiece must have a proper seal so that air does not escape. Once the mouthpiece is inserted, you will take three to five breaths as normal. Next, you will exhale deeply at a normal pace until the lungs are completely empty. Then you will inhale deeply to fill the lungs to full capacity. Next, you will exhale with maximum capacity as strong and fast as possible for at least six seconds. Finally, you will continue to breath as normal. The test should be repeated two to three times with proper technique to ensure accurate results. Once these steps are complete, you can then remove the mouthpiece. Sometimes a doctor will request that you perform a post-bronchodilator. This can be done by administering a bronchodilator such as salbutamol after the first trial of the forced vital capacity. This can also be done after performing a cardiopulmonary exercise test because exercise will also dilate the breathing vessels called the bronchioles. A post-bronchodilator test should be done at least 15 minutes after the first forced vital capacity test is completed by simply repeating the forced vital capacity test. Your doctor will specify if he wants this test to be done as part of your spirometry test. The physiologist and doctor will need time to review all your results to provide a detailed report of the measurements taken and their interpretation. The results can be discussed in a follow-up appointment with the doctor and clinician and will be provided in a comprehensive report on our online platform.